Hey, how's it going you guys? I'm Kid Ann and welcome back to another Marvel's Avengers related video. And today I got a very important topic that I want to discuss with you guys based on the future of this game. The publisher of this game, Square Enix, recently came out and said there is a certain amount of development cost yet to be paid off but we want to regain our lost profits by growing our sales going forward and we hope to make up for the initial sales by offering more than enough additional content to grow our sales. And to be honest with you guys when I heard that I was like okay now what is all that means? So that is what I'm going to break down and discuss with you guys in this video and also would like to know what you guys think as well. So before I get to all that, if you're new here, while well, I cover everything related to Marvel's Avengers and we're so close to 2k subs, so hit that subscribe button, stay connected for more awesome Marvel's Avengers related content and also a like on this video would really mean a lot and would really help out the channel and let's get into this video. Now I'm pretty sure as most of you guys were concerned about this game being shut down for good. Now a few days ago Square Enix came out and mentioned that they will continue to work on this game moving forward and try to make this game better and provide the player with more than enough additional content to make up for the money they have lost. Which clearly means they won't pull the plug on this game just yet. Which is a good news for some that you know enjoy this game till this day. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not entirely sold by what they said, and I'm sure as hell not betting my money on their word. And I want to quickly point out that I have nothing against this game, nor do I have anything against the team behind the game. Everything I'll be saying, just my personal opinion, and I won't be like those Square Enix fanboy that likes to kiss ass. I'll be totally honest and say what needed to be said. Because I'm always honest. And for everyone else that are currently enjoying playing this game, I respect your opinion and if you guys think this is the best game ever, I highly respect your opinion. But in this video I'll be sharing my personal opinion based on you know what they said and I would like to know what you guys think, if you guys agree with me or not, be sure to let me know. So when they mention they will make this game better, they mean they will make this game better in their own way or what they think is best, well I got news for them because what they think is best is not currently working for everyone. And at this point it is pretty obvious and I'm tired of saying this, they just don't care about the community because everybody is seen to asking for the same stuff like same new location ever since the launch. But we're getting new content, but everything else is pretty much the same. And also not to mention that we'll be getting Kate and Hawkeyes, which is pretty much the same character back to back. And the worst part is we're still going to take on AIM, which means back to fighting the same exact robot, same exact location, and same exact, same exact, 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 same exact. It's like you're just repeating yourself. I mean, come on guys, we deserve better than this. I mean, don't get me wrong guys, Kate looks pretty fun and it looks like she got some cool moveset, but that will quickly fade away because everything else is exactly the same. And think about all these people that still believed in this game after so many people have abandoned this game for good. People like myself waiting to see new content will be nonetheless disappointed with the exact same location and enemy type. So at this point pretty much everyone in the community asked for new stuff, new content, when they said new content they meant something new like new location and new enemy type and stuff like that. But I seriously don't understand who is making this decision guys. Don't get me wrong guys, just take a look at the track record. The game was absolutely broken at launch, the amount of bug I personally had to face playing the campaign which I had never had to face in my entire gaming life. When you have every single mission looks and feels the same, every single map you're just doing the same exact thing over and over and there is no actual value of doing all those things and honestly there is no point. Now, in fact we're getting new DLC but we will be doing the same thing over and over and also that when you play with friends there is not much to do other than just protect this area, protect that area and that's pretty much it for every mission. And honestly I feel like, I personally feel like that is the reason why most people quickly reach a point where they feel this game is super repetitive and you know it gets really frustrating. And also not to mention the limitation and the grounded environment when it comes to the gameplay which you know most people are pretty annoyed and frustrated about which makes the case even worse. And then you have the marketplace. Now I personally feel like that is where everything went south. I mean each week, pretty much each week we get the same skin with a different color and the worst part is they cost over 20 bucks. Now let me just take a moment here. I mean who is going to buy a skin over 20 bucks if not in their right mind? 
I mean, honestly, guys, when they say they will make a comeback and they will make improve this game, I have no idea how they're gonna do that. If they're gonna continue to do stuff like this, first of all, the game is pretty horrible right now. There's not much to do and there is no fresh new stuff to keep on playing the game. So I assume, you know, people will just buy skin that is over 20 bucks to collect dust. And if this is their plan to regain all their lost profits, I don't think this is gonna work. This is gonna fail worse than before. And I don't think people are gonna buy a skin that is worth 20 bucks. You know, it's just stupid. And I feel like, you know, the skin I already got is collecting dust because the game has not much to do. And everyone else is, you know, they're just collecting dust. There's, there's no point of buying anything from the marketplace. So they really need to, you know, step up their game and really improve the marketplace and give us a reasonable price. I mean, honestly, guys, I have no idea who's in charge of making this horrible marketing decision. There are so many people just lost their respect for the studio and the game because of the stuff like Marketplace and the way they handle stuff. That's not how you bring people back. And I personally think that's the reason why they lost so many players. And due to that, they will not come back. These players are gone. They just lost their respect for the game. And I don't think they will come back no matter what they do at this point. And to be honest with you guys, at this point, I highly doubt they can make a comeback. And I won't bet a single money on what they say. But if they want to make a comeback, they got to do so many stuff. Starting with gaining people's trust and respect by proving their self. Because it's been pretty obvious since the beginning that they went straight for the money and the reason they fell so hard. The only way this game can actually come back if they listen to the community and listen to the people that actually play the game and prove themselves with better content and tons of new features that will make the game feel different and also lower the price on the marketplace. Because honestly guys, your plan is not working and the way that you guys think that you're gonna make a comeback is just a horse shit, you know, it's not gonna go anywhere. So actually, what you guys can do is listen to the community and listen to the people because they're the one who's playing the game, not you guys. But if they actually think they're gonna make a comeback the way they're handling things, well, I got news for you guys and uh, I don't know what to say, good luck son, cause you're gonna need it. Anyways guys, at the end of the day, I don't see any way they can actually make a comeback. It's just, it's just impossible. The way they're doing things, it's just in nearly impossible to make a comeback. But if they wanna really wanna make a comeback and really do stuff, they got so many things to work on and so many things to do. But that's just my personal opinion, that's what I think. So let me know what you guys think, if you guys agree with me or if you guys have any other thoughts, be sure to let me know. And that's pretty much it for today. And also guys, I'll be doing a channel update pretty soon and let you guys know what's coming. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching. Until next time fam, stay awesome, stay safe, stay connected. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.